There were tears and a gloomy atmosphere as Republican supporters left the convention centre in Boston following Romney's concession speech. His 18-month campaign cost an estimated 660 million euros in what became the most expensive US election in history. Supporters had been convinced that the White House was in his grasp. Can I ask you how you feel about tonight's result? Very depressed. Uh, I've been a friend of Mitt Romney's for many years, so... Uh, it was a very depressing evening. I thought we would win. Uh, all indications were it'd be close, but I thought we would win. Uh, I think extremely disappointed. We honestly came here thinking that he was, Mitt Romney was the exact correct person to take our country in a direction that would make it a lot stronger. So I just, uh, the other part of this, I guess, and Mitt said it in his uh, concession speech, I really hope that, um, you know, we as a country, you know, from the politicians, especially the people in Washington, you know, they rise above all the you know, pettiness and politics and work together to solve the real issues and uh, challenges that we face as a country. After a hard-fought and frequently bitter campaign, Mitt Romney's presidential journey has come to an end. The question now is whether the Democrats' victory will be decisive enough to break the bipartisan gridlock in Washington. This is Paul Hackett for Euronews in Boston, Massachusetts.